Hello everybody, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I was going offline for a little while trying to get relocated, but something caught my eye and just totally disgusts me. There is a new book out printed by Harper Collins. It's called Santa's Husband. Santa is a black man married to a black, I mean a white guy. Isn't that lovely? I mean, I, I'm not, when you read Jeremiah 10, you know, it talks about not cutting down a tree and decorating it with silver and gold. Gee, what time of year do people Cut down a tree and decorate it with silver and gold. Hmm. December? Uh, do Americans call it a Christmas Christmas tree? Hey, if you don't believe me, read Jeremiah 10 by yourself. Matter of fact, God told, uh, had it, Jeremiah tell the people not to learn the way of the heathen. But then, Harper Collins, for those of you that don't know it, is a division of the News Corporation, which is Rupert Murdoch, which you know it as the Fox Network. They also own the largest English Bible printer in the world, called Zandervan. So here it is, you got Harper Collins, Fox TV, Prince Satan's husband. I mean, I'm sorry, I meant Santa's husband. So let's take a look at the wonderful reviews uh, on um, Satan's husband. I mean, Santa's husband. Ooh. All right, well, let's see. Uh, on vice.com, they say, and I quote, a genuinely sweet story that depicts a sound, joyful marriage, unquote. Out.com. What does that mean, out, O-U-T, dot com? What does that mean, coming out of the closet, dot com? I don't know. Uh, quote, we all know that Santa is white, and heterosexual, right? Oh wait, he's a magical imaginary fat dude who breaks into your house every year to leave your kids presents. He could be whatever you want him to be, unquote. World of Wonder, wow report, quote, it's the perfect gift for your racist homophobic uncle, unquote. I guess that's me. The Edge Media Network, quote, an enlightened account of the Kris Kringle legend with deftly rendered drawings, unquote. Uh, yeah. And it's supposed it's under humor, of course, and marriage and family. So uh, printed by Harper Collins. Wonderful. Isn't that just lovely? Satan's husband. Uh, yeah. Now, you got to understand something. Harper Collins owns Zondervan, which is the largest English language publisher of Bibles and religious books. I won't dare say Christian in the English speaking world. And one of the other books that Harper Collins prints, besides Satan's Husband, I'm sorry, I mean Santa's Husband, is the Satanic Bible by Anton LaVey. Well, that was his pen name. His real name was Levy. Anton Levy. Or is it Le Levy? Is it Levy or Levy? You know, L-E-V-E-Y. Sometimes the Jews spell that L-E-V-Y. Yes, he was a nice Jewish boy. And he wrote the Satanic Bible. And in 1966, 
on the sixth month, on the sixth day of 1966, you know, 6666, he founded the Church of Satan. Hmm. So in John 8, 44, when Jesus told a group of religious people that they were of their father, the devil, uh, maybe he wasn't joking around. So, all right, well, one of the... Uh, so Harper Collins prints Satan's husband. I'm sorry, Santa's husband. They also print the Satanic Bible. But the uh, the they're the parent company Zondervan, which owns the exclusive printing rights for the number one selling NIV Bible. So think about this when you're next time when you use an NIV Bible. On uh, www.vnivbible.com, under FAQs, FAQs, you know, backslash frequently asked questions, you know. Um, and I'm going to provide the links for all these. Uh, it says, what manuscripts were used when translating the NIV? And I'm going to quote them. Quote, the translators of the NIV have used the Old Testament, New Testament sex, texts that were widely accepted among modern scholars as giving us the best possible access to what God inspired in the original documents. Uh, let's see. Let's go down the middle. The translators, now that, that the traditional Hebrew Masoretic text, it says it sometimes used variants of the Hebrew Masoretic text uh, or other ancient versions which these seem to provide a superior text than the Masoretic tradition. Well, the, the Hebrew Masoretic text is what 90-something percent, 90 percent of all the original Hebrew manuscripts were in use. So in uh, the book of Isaiah, where the Hebrew Masoretic text said, a virgin shall conceive, you know, speaking about the birth of Christ, they'll change that and say, oh, a young woman. Now I got a question. If a 12-year-old gets pregnant and gives birth, or even better, how about an 11-year-old and gives birth on her 11th, uh, the day before her 12th birthday, is that a miracle? Mm, no. But they changed virgin to young woman. See, Mary, according to them, she wasn't a virgin. She was just a young woman. And when Jesus was born, it was just, you know, it was just, you know, she got pregnant the usual normal way. And, and you know, John, he was just building Jesus up, they'll tell you. Well, you know, he, you know, she got pregnant. It was kind of a miracle that a, you know, 10-year-old got pregnant and gave birth at 11 or whatever, you know, that's their line of thinking. So they destroy the virgin birth and just say, well, you know, she was a young woman. And John was just bragging, you know, that such a young girl could conceive. Isn't that a miracle? You know, that's their thinking. I say virgin. That's what the traditional Hebrew Masoretic text says. Virgin. Doesn't say young woman. Virgin. A virgin shall conceive. And in Matthew, that's what it says. A virgin shall conceive. I believe it's Matthew. All right. What manuscripts were used when translating the NIV? Let's go to the middle of the paragraph here. The translators have used the accepted Greek New Testament text as printed in the Nestled, Nestle Allen and United Bible Society's Greek New Testaments. What are they talking about? Vatican manuscripts which are less than 5% of the manuscripts, and they don't even agree with each other. The majority text, or what they call the Textus Receptus, is 95%. There's over 5,000 manuscripts, and they, they, they agree with each other. And they're not under Vatican control. Uh, let's see. The translators have used the accepted Greek New Testament as printed in the Nestle Allen and United Bible Society's New Testament. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now. 
Here we go. Why does the FAQs, why does the King James Version have additional verses not included in modern translations? Why is that? The translators of the King James Version, working more than 500 years ago, did a wonderful job of translating the Bible into the English language of the early 17th century. However, they did not have access to the wealth of manuscripts in the biblical languages that we have today. In other words, they didn't look at the Vatican-held manuscripts because they were considered Protestants and they used the Greek manuscripts, not the Catholic Vatican manuscripts. Let's continue. And as a result, they translated and included verses that were later, that were in later, less accurate manuscripts. Hmm. So 95% of the manuscripts that agree with each other are considered less accurate manuscripts than the manuscripts available today. Hmm. Ah, yeah. This is from the this is the from the people that print Satan's husband and the Satanic Bible. So let's continue reading. So the real question people should be asking is this. Why does the King James Version add verses to the Bible? Ooh. So, see, the NIV doesn't delete stuff. It's the King James people that, that, that they added stuff that doesn't belong. The answer is because they did not have access to the better manuscripts that are available today. In other words, sincere, believing Bible scholars today almost universally agree that modern translations like the English Standard Version, the New American Standard Version, the New Living Translation, and the NIV did not remove verses that should be in the Bible, but rather that the King James Version translators innocently and unintentionally added, added verses that earlier and better manuscripts, which they did not have available, show should not be in the bible oh my oh my lord lucifer well that's yeah never mind it is important to remember though that the one thing tends to get lost in the debate the number of such verses is almost infinitesimally small and no matters of christian doctrine are affected yeah these are from the people that print the satanic bible and satan's husband or Santa's husband, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. So, we're going to believe these people, right? Wrong. 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 Oh, here's the rest. Uh, about the publisher. What is the relationship between Zondervan and HarperCollins Publishers? Let's read this. I'm interested. HarperCollins Publishers, you know, the Satan's Husband and the Satanic Bible Publishers? Yeah, the, those people. HarperCollins Publishers is our parent company. Now, this is Zondervan's website. And fully supports our commitment to our mission and our Christian core values. That's why you print the Satanic Bible. Because Satan is your Christ. Zondervan, a well-known and respected Christian publishing company, their words, not mine, is part of HarperCollins Christian Publishing. Yeah, Lucifer is your Christ. And has been a HarperCollins company since the early 80s. HarperCollins has many different publishing groups who produce a wide range of content, none of which affects our Christian mission and purpose. You mean like the Satanic Bible? The Church of the Church of Satan? Yeah, it doesn't affect your mission, right? And, and printing... Uh, a couple of sodomites that get married called Satan, I mean Santa. Uh, what can I tell you? Hey, listen, if you want to take a look at the links and see that I'm not stinking lying to you, uh, take a look below. And by the way, people, if my YouTube and Google Gmail account gets deleted, you go right to me at Bob, B-O-B, -B, Walker, W-A-L-K-E-R, K-J-V, like King James Version, KJV, Bob Walker, KJV at hotmail.com. Because I've heard 
some Christians say that their Gmail account uh, email account got deleted and their Google Plus and their YouTube and you know so anybody that's uh, interested you can contact me that way so all right well take a look in the description below and you can see the links to prove that I'm not lying and take a look at the slideshow and uh, oh boy well, what can I tell you Read Jeremiah chapter 10 and ask yourself uh, in December what they're talking about. Decorate, cutting down a tree and decorating it with silver and gold. Yeah. Things that don't make the Lord happy. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. One more thing before we get out of here. We're going to take a look at some of the verses that the NIV says that the King James Version people add. All right, let's take a couple of looks uh, at some of the verses that the King James adds according to the NIV. In Matthew 18.11, in the King James, it says, For the Son of Man, that's Christ, that's Jesus, for the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. Is that important? Did Jesus, the Son of Man, come to save that which is lost? In some versions of the NIV, it's gone. In the New American Standard, which is a one, of, I think it's one of the Catholic versions, uh, in the footnotes, it says, this is not in the older, better manuscripts. And in the Jehovah's Witness New World Translation Bible, it's gone. Huh. In Luke chapter 2 and verse 33, it said, And Joseph and his mother. Okay. Did Mary carry Jesus? Absolutely. Absolutely. But jo it says, and Joseph and his mother. But in the NIV, it says the child's father and mother. Ooh. You see, here, the NIV says, well, Joseph was his father. You see, it wasn't a virgin birth. The miracle was that uh, Joseph got Mary pregnant when she was nine years old. And she had a baby at nine years old. That's the miracle. What does that do to the virgin birth? It turns it into a lie. And of course, the other, ver you know, the uh, Jehovah's War Witnesses New World Order Bible says, it's father and mother. In John 6, 47, Jesus says, he that believeth on me he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. And Avi says, he who believes has everlasting life. He who believes what? That Lucifer is Lord? Satan's husband? Believes what? He who believes has everlasting life. Believes what? What? Let's look at one of those other horrible ver uh, Bible verses that the NIV says that the King James adds. In 1 Timothy 3.16, it says, God was manifest in the flesh. God. Jesus was God in the flesh. Okay? The NIV says he appeared in a body. Well, guess what? When I was born, I appeared in a body too. What's the difference between me and Christ? The NIV says he appeared in a body. Everybody that's born appears in a body. But in the King James, it says God was manifest in the flesh. So was Jesus fathered by Joseph and just got born? Or was the virgin, was he God that was born of a virgin? Hmm, think about that. Now, 
Now, I, I've I've taught on this before, but you know. Uh, in Matthew 17, around the 16th or so chap uh, verse, a man brings a child to the disciples and says, "Oh, this one, you know, they're, I'm paraphrasing. Delete uh, was possessed of a devil, a demon, dev demon possessed. Okay." The disciples could not cast out the devil out of this child. And then Jesus rails on them about being a faithless and perverse generation. So then Jesus casts the devil out. And then the disciples come to Jesus privately and say, why couldn't we cast him out? In the King James, it says, Howbeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. You see, in the NIV and the Jehovah's New World Order translation, the disciples do not have power over this devil in the name of Jesus. They're powerless. Satan's kingdom is more powerful because they had no power over this devil to cast it out. Do you think the devils would like you to not know that prayer and fasting, prayer and fasting can cast out the most wicked devil out of a person? You think they wouldn't want you to know that? Oh, the King James adds these verses. The NIV people will tell you. You better believe the devils don't want you to know that prayer and fasting can gives a Christian power to cast out devils. Of course, they don't want you to know that. Oh, the NIV and the New World Order translation, those are the best available manuscripts. How about this? Matthew 23, 14, and for those of you that don't know what a Pharisee is a Jew is completely removed from the NIV and the Jehovah's Witness Bible. Now, before people say, well, the, my NIV has this and has that, so Bob, Chaplain Bob, you're a liar. Well, you know what? There's several different versions. The NIV came out in 84. I think there was another version in the 90s, and then there was another version in the 2000s, and then there's another one, the gender-inclusive one, where God is an it. You see, it's no longer God the Father. It's God the It. And maybe you've got uh, husband, wife, and son. I don't know. That's their holy, unholy trinity thingy. But Matthew 23, 14 is gone from the New World Order translation and, and the NIV. Jesus said, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Pharisees are Jews. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense, for a pretense, make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Yeah, those are the kind of verses that the, the, the King James Bible, the, they add those verses. Yeah. That's what they want you to think. How about another one of these horrible verses? Romans 16, 24. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Oh yeah, that's a horrible verse for the King James translators to add. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Yeah. So, you're going to trust the modern Bible versions printed by people that print the Satanic Bible and Satan's husband, a bunch of sodomites? Or are you going to believe the King James Bible? I think I'm going to believe that Jesus Christ was God who came down from heaven to be born of a virgin and took on a human body, lived a sinless life, was crucified, died, and rose again from the dead in three days. 
I think I'm going to believe that. But, hey, if you want to believe people that publish Satan's Husband and the Satanic Bible, pfft, uh, that's up to you. And by the way, yes, HarperCollins and Zondervan do print King James Bibles. But then again, anybody can print a King James Bible. But only Zondervan has the printing rights for the NIV. If I printed the NIV, I would be probably thrown in jail for copyright infringement because I'm not allowed to print the NIV. Only they can. They have the copyright on it. You see, in the United States, there's no copyright on the King James Bible. And people will say, oh, the King James has copyrights. Well, yeah, but I don't live in England. The king and queen of England own the crown copyrights in the UK, England, Britain, whatever, Great Britain, whatever you want to call it. But in the United States, there is no copyright. So, uh, what can I tell you? All right, people. Well, this is the end. You know, I just gave you a few things about what the NIV says that the King James Bible adds. I think I'm going to stick with the King James. How about you? This is Chaplain Bob Walker light, uh, signing off. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God, and that's Jesus who is the Christ. All precious name, all glory and honor to him. In Jesus' name, amen.